Hello, my dear students. Today is another day to start a new lesson. I am Madam Chris Liano, your science teacher for today. Before we start our lesson, we will have a task first. Please follow the guide. You may also get your worksheets and open to pages 1, 2, and 3 for guidance. Read the following sentences and answer the question with the best letter of your choice in your notebook. Every question has a timer of 30 seconds. Are you ready? Direction. Read each item carefully. Write only the letter of the correct answer for each question. Use a separate sheet for your answers. Number one. What is the correct order of steps in scientific method? A. Ask a question. Make a hypothesis. Test the hypothesis, draw conclusions, and analyze results. B. Ask question. Make a hypothesis. Test the hypothesis. Analyze results and draw conclusions. C. Ask a question. Analyze results. Make a hypothesis. Test the hypothesis and draw conclusions. And D, make a hypothesis, test the hypothesis, analyze results, ask question, and draw conclusions. Number two, which of the following questions is best considered as scientific? A. Who invented electricity? B. How long did dinosaurs live on Earth? C. How many koalas are there in Australia? Or D. Does the amount of salt in water affect the temperature at which it boils? Number three, what is the process of obtaining information using your senses? A. Inquiry B. Conclusion C. Observation or D. Scientific method Number four, what variable can be changed or manipulated? A, dependent variable. B, experimental variable. C, independent variable. Or D, uncontrolled variable.
Number five, a scientist hypothesizes that the temperature at which an ostrich egg is incubated will determine whether the ostrich will be male or female. What is the independent variable of this experiment? A. Scientist B. Incubator C. Temperature or D. Gender of the ostrich Number six, please refer to situation in number five. What is the dependent variable? A, scientist. B, incubator. C, temperature. Or D, gender of the ostrich. Number seven, what do you call an idea or explanation that you test through study and experimentation? A, question. B, hypothesis. C, conclusion. Or D, observation. Number eight, what do you call the things in an experiment that must be the same to make it fair? A. Controlled variables B. Dependent variables C. Independent variables or D. Uncontrolled variables Number 9. A scientist is already contemplating whether the data of his experiments supports his hypothesis. At this point, the scientist is A. Asking a question B. Making observations C. Drawing a conclusion or D. Forming a hypothesis Number 10, which refers to scientific procedure undertaken by scientists to test a hypothesis and make a discovery or demonstrate a known fact. A. Theory B. Inference C. Conclusion or D. Experiment
Okay, time's up. It's time to check. Number one. The correct answer is B. Ask a question, make a hypothesis, test the hypothesis, analyze results, and draw conclusions. Number two. The correct answer is letter D. Does the amount of salt in water affect the temperature at which it boils? Number three. The correct answer is C. Observation. Number four. The correct answer is C. Independent variable. Number five. The correct answer is C. Temperature. Number six. The correct answer is D. Gender of the ostrich. Number seven. The correct answer is B. Hypothesis. Number 8. The correct answer is A. Controlled variables. Number 9. The correct answer is C. Drawing a conclusion. And number 10. The correct answer is D. Experiment. Number one, what is the context all about? Number two, why scientific method was described as roadmap? Number three, why do we need to observe and ask questions in conducting the investigation? Number four, what makes hypothesis important in scientific method? And number five, why do we need to draw conclusion in every scientific study we conduct? We need help to find the series of steps of a scientific method a scientist. Let us read and understand the following context to find these texts. Now you are given 15 minutes to read and answer the guide questions in your notebooks. Are you ready? Let's start! Science is a way of thinking and a way of gathering knowledge about the world that is both accurate and reliable. It is the quest to understand and improve our knowledge of the world around us and how the things in work 
or why they work the way they do. The scientific method is like the roadmap that you follow to get to that destination. It is the process by which science is carried out, as in areas of inquiry. Science through scientific method can build on previous knowledge and develop a more sophisticated understanding of its topics of study over time. When using scientific method to carry out your own investigation, the first thing you need to do is observe, then ask questions. Just look at all the things around you. Does something make you curious? Does something seem strange to you? Do you wonder what causes something or why something happens? Have you asked yourself, why is the sky blue? What makes a soda fizzy? The possibilities for observations and questions are endless. The next scientific method will involve you to test hypothesis. Hypothesis is an educated guess. It is a preliminary answer to the question you have asked, but he will test to see if it seems to be true. Keep in mind that it does not matter whether your hypothesis is right or wrong. The next step is to test your hypothesis, wherein you will design and conduct an experiment. After your experiment, make sure to record the observations and data so you will be able to analyze the results. And finally, you need to draw conclusions. The main aim is to summarize the findings of your experiment and determine whether your hypothesis is accepted or rejected. Okay, time's up. Are you ready, scientists? Now, here are the answers to your five questions. Number one, what is the context all about? The correct answer is, the context is all about the steps in scientific methods. Number two, why scientific method was described as roadmap? The correct answer is, scientific method is like a roadmap, for it helps you answer questions and learning at the same time using scientific steps. Number three, why do we need to observe and ask questions in conducting the investigation? The correct answer is, we need to observe and ask question in conducting investigation because we can learn new things and can also make conclusions in our investigation. Number four, what makes hypothesis important in scientific method? The correct answer is, hypothesis is an educated guess. These can help us analyze the results, whether it is right or wrong. Conclusion is to summarize the findings of our experiment and determine whether our hypothesis is accepted or rejected. Did you get the answers right? Good job! Now here's a scientist badge for you! Now, just like scientists, we need the skills in conducting scientific researches and experiments to come up with an answer. And this is our lesson for today. The scientific method. Now watch this presentation to learn all about it.
What is a scientific method? A scientific method involves a series of steps that are used to investigate a natural occurrence. So what are these steps? The following are the basic steps of scientific method. Number one, make observations. There are tons of everyday activities that would make cool science experiments using the scientific method. Example, a student noticed that ice melted fast in water. Number two, come up with a question. The student's observations should lead to some sort of questions. Does ice melt faster in different liquids? Curiosity on what happens to the ice in liquids is a simple science experiment perfect for using the scientific method. Number three, develop a hypothesis or prediction. You have made your observations and you have your questions. Now, you need to make a prediction about what you think will happen next. A hypothesis is not simply a guess. A hypothesis is an educated guess or tentative answer to a problem. The student thinks that ice will melt faster in juice than it did well in water. Maybe he just wants to be get a drink of juice out of it. For example, what happens to the growth of mango seeds if table salt was added to the soil? 2. Tomato seeds may grow faster in colder temperature. Hypothesis 1. If the amount of salt added to the soil increases, then the growth of mango seeds decreases. Hypothesis 2. If tomato seeds were planted in colder temperature, then the seeds will grow at a faster rate. Step 4. Conduct an experiment or test the hypothesis. We made a prediction that ice will melt faster in juice than in water. And now, we must test our hypothesis. We set up an experiment with a glass of juice, a glass of water, and an ice cube for each. The best experiments, only one thing should change. Here, we are changing the type of liquid we use, but keeping the ice cube. The temperature and measurements of the liquid the same. If too many factors change at once, you cannot accurately state that the results are. The liquids should be roughly the same temperature and measured to the same amount. So we left them out to come to the room temperature. This could also be tested right out of the fridge. Set up a stopwatch or set a time limit to observe the changes. Step five. Record and analyze the results. Make sure to record what is happening as well as the results. Note changes at specific time intervals or after one set time interval. When each ice cube is completely melted, add drawings if you wish at the end results. Was your prediction accurate? If it is not accurate, State the reasons. Step 6. Draw conclusions. This is the opportunity to talk about your hypothesis, your experiment, your results, and your conclusion, which is the final answer to your problem or experiment. Now, how do you find the lesson? Good! It is very interesting. And it is important indeed to know the importance of scientific methods in conducting an investigation.
So, what are the six steps of scientific method again? Are you ready for a short quiz? Very good! Now get your science notebook and here we go! Write true if the statement is correct and false if it's not. Now you are only given 15 minutes to answer. In 3, 2, 1, start! Number one, one of the important steps in scientific method is observation. Number two, it is not necessary to make further study as long as the research is accepted. Number three, in scientific method, everything is possible. Number four, it is acceptable to predict an answer to a problem question. Number five, we need to develop and follow a procedure during our experimentation. Number six. In the steps of scientific method, we need to develop problems that can be solved by experimentation. Number seven, when scientists test a hypothesis, they test a hypothesis together with a variety of background assumptions and theories. Number eight. Just because you can't think of a natural explanation doesn't mean that there isn't one.
our lesson for today. Remember, it is important to learn the steps of the scientific method because it will lessen mistakes in our decisions and bring us to the standard and logical answers. As for your assignment, look for an easy problem that can be answered by experiment using our scientific method. Write this in your science notebook. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time!